In 1846, an Italian chemist first synthesized nitroglycerin, an explosive substance that was later used by Swedish chemist Alfred Nobel to invent dynamite in 1867. Later in the 1800s, doctors began to use nitroglycerin as a medicine to treat chest pain and high blood pressure. And, as fate would have it, when Alfred Nobel fell ill with heart disease, his doctor prescribed him none other than nitroglycerin, which he refused to take. It wasn't until the 1980s that researchers figured out that nitroglycerin helps chest pain by increasing levels of a gas called nitric oxide in the body. A little ironic that in 1998, the three researchers that discovered how nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system were awarded the Nobel Prize for their valuable contribution to medical science. In the last 30 years, nitric oxide has been one of the most intensively studied molecules. Its remarkable roster of benefits includes suppressing cell inflammation and adhesion, thereby lowering blood pressure, inhibiting blood clots, and promoting blood flow. It also acts as a vasodilator to expand blood vessels when needed, and is involved in the formation of new blood vessels as well. In the real world, this translates into things like better workouts, increased libido, more energy, and a lot of other excellent benefits. Nitric oxide is normally produced internally by our cells in good enough quantities for adequate blood flow and tissue oxygenation. However, things like poor nutrition, disease, and aging can lead to less than optimum levels. Nitric oxide is especially important in light of the recent widespread application of a substance called graphene oxide, or GO. Although displaying impressive scientific and technological properties, GO has been shown in studies to produce neurotoxic effects, destroy red blood cells, and most notably, both impair the immune system and cause blood clots. In a study from 2019, they quote, its bidimensional nature causes unique interactions with blood proteins and biological membranes and can lead to severe effects like thrombogenicity and immune cell activation. With GEO playing an increasing role in our world, scientists have been interested to see exactly how it degrades within biological organisms. Using zebrafish, last year researchers found that by blocking the enzyme that synthesizes nitric oxide, they were able to block the breakdown of GEO in the gastrointestinal tract. Plus, there was a corresponding increase in inflammation with the decreased nitric oxide. The study overall provided solid evidence that degradation of GEO in the intestines is actually dependent on available nitric oxide. Combine these results with that of another study which confirmed that nitric oxide is essential for preventing blood clot disorders and a third study that shows nitric oxide's critical role in regenerating a damaged olfactory epithelium, thus helping to restore a lost sense of smell. These important findings help to show that nitric oxide is perhaps one piece of the puzzle when it comes to detoxing GO. The great news is that we don't have to take nitroglycerin to get the benefits of increased nitric oxide. Join me in the next video where we're going to review the best strategies to help your body optimize production of this life-enhancing powerhouse. Thank you for watching.